What's up guys, Collector B here. Happy Sunday and it is a great Sunday. I am really excited if you guys cannot tell because look, stuff I wanted that's new. Wow. Yes. And what do we have? McFarlane. McFarlane. So awesome. So um yeah so welcome back uh thank you all for joining me uh if you guys are new please like comment and subscribe subscribe for all of you who keep coming back you are fantastic and we have some really awesome stuff today that i am just just too stoked too too stoked so let's just get into it so whoo we're gonna do this in a weird order today but it's how i want to do it so uh this week, we found some really good stuff. It's been super slow. If you've watched my last couple of videos, I've talked about, you know, Walmarts. We haven't found much. We haven't found any new McFarland from Walmarts. You know, Target, nothing really. I mean, there's a lot of stuff out, just not anything really I've been wanting to grab. Well, I walk into a random Target I have never been into, and holy moly. So, no McFarland there, but boom, Pokemon Select. And if you guys have followed me, you guys know I get super excited about these figures. I think these Pokemon Select figures, these ones, in this big black box are fantastic. So today we have Typhlosion. Really awesome. One of my favorite fire starters. Um, again, this is different though. So if you've watched my last videos that I've had these in, they do come in this black box. But this one has the trainer team series sticker on it no idea what that means but it's the first one i've seen with that and on the tab it also says only at target your fingers in the way i, I can see it uh, only ones i've seen do that as well so you know i never know when these are coming out i never know what you know ones they're making but i walked into target and i saw this guy and i was just beyond excited and as you can see wave four except who's still on wave four Charizard. Charizard, which is the very first one that came out. So again, I don't know what they, why they do that on the back of the box. As you can see, there is Dragapult and Samurott on the back of the box. I did not see Samurott, but honestly, I'm okay with that. He is not one of my favorites, but ooh, I was so excited to find this. You guys have no idea how excited, and we're gonna see how he is. I'm stoked. Uh, one of the big reasons I think these are just fantastic and are like just worth the money is they are what were they 19 mm -hmm. they're 19 dollars. okay so one me, was more expensive though wasn't it uh one of them was 21 which was weird um but i mean for that price these are really cool i do wish my only complaint i do wish that they came with like effects um but I mean, for, for $20, basically, or under $20, and you get these guys, I think it's a heck of a deal. These are the my favorite Pokemon figures that they come out with. They're very well articulated. They come with stands. They're, they're just really awesome. So, here is the stand. So, the Typhlosion is going to come with the same exact stand as all the others. Um, these stands are actually pretty decent. They do kind of get loose over time but i have all of mine on them pretty much and except for charizard i have him standing um it's pretty cool and like honestly i don't think typhlosion really needs to have a stand but i'm okay that they gave it to us so let's get this on. that didn't work okay so again, only seen these at one Target, and it was a random Target, so I don't know exactly when they came out, when they're actually coming out to more Targets. Pretty interesting. There he is in the box. I just love how big he is. He looks really cool. And as you can see, he's got some interesting points of articulation that we are going to figure out here. Uh, let's see where he's tied in. And again, you guys will have to let me know, who's your favorite fire starter? I would say mine is probably Charizard. Second is probably Blaziken. Because Blaziken is really cool. Um, but I do like Typhlosion a lot. Okay, so. Ooh, okay, so we'll just show him first. And then I'll go over articulation. Oh, he is. He's pretty cool. Boom! So as you see, he don't even need to stand. He stands perfectly. Um, I like it. It looks great like Typhlosion. It looks really awesome. Love the fire. 
Uh, he does seem like he has quite a bit of articulation. You can see a couple spots where I did not think he would move. He is kind of cone-shaped, which is kind of funny, but that is how he looks. I do kind of wish maybe his legs were a little bit taller, just so this was a little bit higher up, but that's okay. Um, I think he looks fantastic. The paint looks good. The fire looks really awesome. Yeah. Do you like him? I think he's really cool. No. <laughs> Okay, looks fine. like a gerbil. He does look like a gerbil. I think it's kind of funny. And as you can see, in the hole is right there. So it's in his lower back, which is kind of cool. Um, but again, I don't even know if I'm going to use the stand with this guy because he looks fine kind of standing there. So as far as articulation, um, he does have almost two joints here. He's got one there and then one in his hand. So you do get two movements there and these can go all the way around you are a little limited because the fire piece there um his legs these these are going to be hard to move so yeah these can move but they're just kind of like on a swivel but look at that oh, toe that joint sounds. crazy yeah he gets a toe joint so um not much in the legs as far as his body there's kind of like his ab crunch um his neck you can move there's three different spots here so you can move the fire by itself you can move this piece by itself and you can move the top of his head by himself so you can kind of get him in some interesting ways if you really want to like almost the fires like over here his head's this way um the feet are kind of a bummer just because or i mean his legs just because you're not gonna be able to get him He's very top heavy, so he's kind of going to have to stand uh, in a certain way. The mouth does open, which is fantastic. It is pretty tight. I wish they would have made this open, man, a little more, and it kind of has an issue staying there. I wish it would just go way down, but I feel like I'm just going to snap his mouth off. But it does open, which is nice. It just doesn't really want to stay open. Um, there's not much. Oh, cool. Okay, so this comes off. I thought I broke it, which is cool because um, if you, you know, have played Pokemon before, Typhlosion doesn't always have it lit up um, until he's doing his, like, blast effects and everything. He definitely looks like an armadillo right there, but that is pretty cool, and they actually did do the red underneath so you can kind of see, but yeah, this just kind of pegs in. Wow, I thought I broke it. It's just a rubber piece as well, so man, that goes on. Super nice, super easy. So that's cool. So you could have him kind of in battle mode or not battle mode. My biggest complaint is that that mouth just does not open up a lot. It doesn't want to stay. And then probably just these legs. You're not going to be able to do much with these legs. But overall, I think he looks really cool. I'm pretty excited for him. His body's just a little too coned. So he's just not going to have much movement. But I do like him. Let's see... This is my only thing, though, with him. Like, yes. <laughs> well, I just, like, because of where he goes in in the stand, like, you could have him like that, I guess. That doesn't, doesn't look terrible. Fly. Huh? He doesn't fly. Yeah, does he's it? jumping. Uh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I probably will not use the stand for this, but I do like that they give you the stand, and you can use it for all these other Pokemon selects, which is cool. Um, I'm digging it. I do really like it. I'm just gonna have to find a really good pose for him. I do just wish that mouth opened a little bit more. So, so there's the first one we found again at Target. Uh, yeah, I love these Pokemon Select series. I just never know when they're coming out. So I did not think it was going to be him next. I thought they were going to do Lugia, but never saw Lugia. So next we got McFarlane. We have McFarlane. What? We have McFarlane. So, uh, walked into Walmart, and I've just been seeing Grifter, Duke Thomas, Superboy Prime. What's that lady? That lady? I don't know. She's like, has glasses on. That lady? It's just like yellow? That's Static Shock. Yeah. That's not a lady. That's not a lady? That's not a lady. Oh, it looks like a lady. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Static Shock is not a lady. Um, we did see that other Scarecrow. We've been, That's pretty much all we've been seeing at Walmart while we walked that's into... That's not a lady? No. Static Shock is a dude. Does it have longer hair? Or... He's supposed to have, oh, like, okay. black, curly it looks black like a lady hair. To me. Oh, okay, it's not a lady. Okay. So for everybody who doesn't know, Static Shock <laughs> is not a lady. Um, but so that's all we've been seeing. And we've still been seeing the Batman figures as well. So it's been kind of boring. 
but boom, walked in and they had the Batman DC vs. Vampires. I'm going to call him Vampire Batman because that's exactly what he looks like. Um, this is awesome. They had three of these when I went, so I did grab one for me. Um, and he just looks great. My wife is not a fan of the, like, bronzish... Uh, it's brown. Brown color, but I don't really mind. I love this back of the box. Looks fantastic. That is really, really cool. And, of course, this is Gold Label, which... Did you see the sticker on the side of this one? Are you here? Yeah, so I I don't know why they've done this. I have seen a couple on? other people, Eradicator. Yep. I've oh. seen a couple other people point that out. I don't know why all of a sudden these started um coming on here. I, I don't know. Sure. Gold Batman. Cool. Um but again, it's gold label, which at this point, does it really matter if it's gold label right now? Everything is gold label. Uh so whatever but this is only at walmart i believe right now um so i've seen quite a bit of people find this it took me a while to find it and i haven't seen it again we've only seen it at one walmart so uh been kind of interesting with these releases so oh well but super happy to find it i think it looks fantastic so again card and stand and the card is the back of the box which that's a great card Honestly, I love that. Just it's so cool. Really, really good. That's one of the better cards. He is that has from done. a comic? Yes, it is from the comic, but not the comic that you. I know you're thinking of. So well, he looks um, totally different. Yes, he does. So here he is. As you can see, he comes with that big axe, which is already bent. But that's okay. I don't really need to display this Batman with his axe. I don't think, but it's okay. But I'm pretty excited. Um, I've been waiting for some new McFarlane for a while. There's been a lot out. Just some of them. Like the wife said, Static Shock, who is not a lady. I just don't think looks good. I haven't grabbed it. That Scarecrow I didn't grab. So it's been kind of a waiting game for me. So this axe. <laughs> I mean, I think it looks really cool. It's just warped like crazy. I think they did an actual pretty good job on the details on it. But yeah, why does a vampire need an axe? Um, to chop up some garlic. <laughs> no, I know, that was terrible. Um, I don't know, because he does, okay? Why can't he have an axe? Come on. It's been forever since I've had to pull somebody out with a cape. This cape is pretty thick. I was hoping it was going to be really thin, um, but it's pretty thick. Oof. Buddy. Yeah. This dude's... I kind of like the brown coloring. I get what you're saying, um, but I think it actually looks pretty good. So, again, no extra hands, no extra heads. Uh, just a bent axe and Batman, but he, there we go. I'm going to have to say it. These ankles, look at this. There we go. These ankle joints. It's a McFarlane. Hold on. I got it. There he is. You want me to put him closer? Put him closer. Well, he doesn't want to stand. Come on. There he is. Um, I think it looks great. I get what you're saying. That brown is kind of interesting. I think it looks cool. I think it's really different. So I'm okay with it. We don't have another Batman that is brown. I think the face sculpt on this thing is fantastic. I love that there is blood in his mouth, around his mouth, and then up on the cowl and on his head. His hands are really cool. Those kind of like claw hands with blood on them are really awesome. And the suit looks really good. I like the symbol. I like the belt everything the cape like i said is a little thick for me but it's not terrible i just think everything else on it looks fantastic and that face sculpt is just is great i was trying to think of another batman i could throw this face sculpt on if i wasn't a fan of this body but i do think this body looks pretty good 
as you can see, we've got some ankle issues. I do like the cape that it does kind of wrap behind right here, and then this comes out. I just wish it was a little less thick. But other than that, I don't really have an issue of this guy. I think he looks really good. What do you think? I hate the brown. You hate the brown, I huh? It. I think it's kind of cool. It's kind of a... Uh, like bronze to me i don't think it looks bad at all um yeah i like it you don't like it what are you looking at no i'm just looking trying to see if there's another batman that's brown there's not no not brown when you could put the head what on. body on yeah it'd be interesting i think you could probably do some pretty cool customs with it but as far as articulation goes um i mean you can hear that thing cracking it's gonna be like every mcfarland we do get the toe joint again which i do like um now this angle's super loose which is cool splits splits batman vampire really cool um the arm again you do have the bicep swivel joints are good there wrist joints are kind of tight but you do get a nice wrist joint i'm really digging these hands i think these are really cool i love the claws and i just love that blood on the hand it's like sometimes when they do that i feel like they make it too red i think that looks good because it's gloves are dark no you disagree i think it looks cool looks like old dried blood well it is old dried blood I he guess. eats a lot um as far as an ab crunch not much i mean that's where he's at um his head can go all the way around and he actually does have pretty good motion in his head that comes all the way down um as far as up all the way there so his head has really good movement and again this this face sculpt is just fire i mean look at that I love, again, just how there's slits on the top and you can kind of see the blood there. I think that's really, really cool. I do wish we would have got some alternate hands. It would just, it just would have been nice. Like maybe some fist hands would have been great. I know he's a vampire. Um, and maybe like a, a batarang. A batarang would have been cool with this guy, I think. But he does not get a batarang. He gets an axe, which... It's okay if I bend it because it's already bent. There we go. Get in there. And here he is. Boom! Vampire Batman with his axe. I like it. I do really like it. I did forget to show. Here is behind. Again, like I said, the belt looks really cool. Um, like you said, the brown, I get it. The cape's not terrible. I wish it was a little thinner, like I said, like uh, Almans, I think. But I do really like this wrap around here, and it's not crazy thick. But there is Vampire Batman. Gold label from McFarlane. And he doesn't want to stand. Maybe I... the Batman with the trench coat. The snow one? Not the snow one. Um... Batman with the trench coat. Doesn't he have a trench coat on? What are you talking about? Is it metal? Oh, the dark. He's on the ground. You're talking about the future state Batman? Yeah. She don't know. Sure, I But don't know. we'll figure it out. So there he is. Next to Typhlosion. I like it. Um, <clears throat> I think there's a lot of cool Batmans coming out right now. Uh, this one is pretty cool. I do really, really like it. Um, one out of ten, what would you rate it? I think it's a seven. I mean, it's it's I, the face sculpt to me is a ten out of ten. I love that face sculpt. Um, I just wish there's a little bit more. Again, like the cape, the axe is okay. So it's around like a seven or eight for me. It's not like a ten out of ten, but I I do really like it. So really exciting. Um, I'm excited to get all the next ones coming out because I do think there are some really good ones. So again, check your WalMarts. That has been I saw three when we went. But I haven't seen it again, so hopefully you guys can find it. And he should be with some other ones of these, but for me, he was by himself. So See, he would have looked cool with, uh, like, Van Helsing's crossbow. Yeah, but he's a vampire. I know, but still. That would have been cool. You know, sure. just... Yeah. But now he has a Pokemon. He stole it from a vampire hunter. There you go. Boom. So, before we get into our last two things, what time is it? Pop time. Funko Pop time. What the Funko is up, guys? Today, we're back with Pops. 
Imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine that. So we've got four today and just a variety. We've got basically cartoons and a movie. Brad Pitt. Boom. Love Brad Pitt. So we're going to start with Pluto. Pluto. Pluto, which we found at Target. And when we went to check out, scanned it, and it came up for like $3.72. So, which is weird. Don't know why it just was came out. brand new, but I got it for three bucks. So that's a win. And why did you get Pluto? Because it's a dog, obviously. Oh. I will get almost <coughs> every dog unless it's a poodle because ew. <laughs> ew. Not about poodles and they're mean. No quote? No. What is he going to say? Rough, rough. Poodles? M I C K E Y M O U S E? No. Do not know what I spelled. No. Okay. I wasn't listening. Yeah, probably not. Pluto! <laughs> He's cute. There is Pluto. Ooh. Yeah. I like Pluto. Mm -hmm. He just, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a huge Mickey Mouse fan, but uh, me neither. Pluto's cool. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. His head moves. Mm -hmm. I turned it already. Oh. Oh, okay. Does his tail move at all? It's I'm a pop. Curious. I'm just curious. No. I okay. mean, you could bend it. Yeah. And possibly. It would be cool if his ears moved too. But... That would be cool. Pluto! He doesn't have a tag. What do you mean? Just has a, just a green call. Like, there's no tag. I don't remember. Car. I don't know. But there is Pluto. For $3. For $3. What a steal. So if you're lucky enough... Maybe you'll get it for three dollars, but I doubt it because it's or like any of the other ones ago. on the back. Yeah. Chip, we haven't seen the Chippendales. Have I haven't we? seen Donald or Daisy. I saw Donald. Did you see Donald? Yeah, we've Did seen you see Donald. Daisy? Uh, probably. I just don't think we've seen the Chippendales. Chippendale, yeah, I haven't seen them. Or Target. The Target, folks. And yeah, Target. <sighs> No, Jerry. Jerry first? Yeah, because Tom's better. Okay. I like Jerry better, but... Here. Jerry with the cheese. Where's Where's Jerry? the cheese? <laughs> um, This was also off Toy Bonanza. Yes. Where but I got... What other two did I get off of there? Dwight, CPR, oh, yeah. Dwight, and the Golden office. Face. The Office Pops. And these are the only two in this little wave. But I don't know, again, who else you'd put. They do have other, other Tom and Jerry's, though. One with Jerry's not holding the cheese. I think he's just chilling there. No, he has the... Doesn't he have a hammer? Like a big... Maybe. I always get them confused with Itchy and Scratchy, so I can't remember which one... You know what I mean? So, um, but there is two... There is, like, two or three other Tom and Jerry's mm -hmm. so you can grab, too. And these ones, <clears throat> they look okay, the office pops looked amazing, which I would rather the office pops look better than Tom and Jerry. Just the paint on these makes me feel like they're fake. Maybe they're fake, but again, I don't, I don't really care. He's got a growth coming out of his arm. What? Well, it's just like an extra piece of plastic. Oh. <laughs> so it's probably fake. A growth <laughs> coming out of his arm. It's the cheese. And a nice scuff. I mean, maybe I could get that off, but he looks, I I mean, I love Tom and Jerry. He looks okay. I hate how girly Jerry looks. Is Jerry a girl? Like, did they ever say, oh, the paint on his uh -huh. mouth is terrible. Bad. Yeah. Where's this growth? You'll see it. He's... Oh, that's his thumb. Oh, on the back. Dude, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I still like it. Interesting. But yeah, isn't, is he a girl? I think he's a boy. Why does his name uh, well, be Jerry? Well, exactly. But I don't know. He just, those eyelashes, man. He's a cute little mouse. I guess. Does his head move? It's going to fall off. At least his face is indented like Steve's. It's super tight. Can you face it towards the cheek? There you go. Yum, cheese. Cheese. 
There's Jerry. There's Jerry. And you guys will have to let us know who's better, Tom or Jerry. It's Jerry. I like Tom. I know he's an idiot, but he's a fun idiot, right? Oh, they actually look good together. Pluto and Jerry. I almost said Tom. Now we've got <sighs> Tom. Boom! The Tomcat. Yes, with the knife, the cleaver. It's a butcher. Cleaver. cleaver. Yes, cleaver. I was getting there, Sorry. bro. Okay. Same thing, Toy Bonanza. Toy Bonanza. Were these just retail? Yeah. yeah. These were all, everything I got off Toy Bonanza was retail. That's why I thought they were Did all going to be fake. Yeah. Okay. I thought they were all going to be fake. Uh, the, like she said, the Office Pops look better. These ones mm -hmm. might. And be these fake, ones but... are made in China. And they also have these, like, peel off. Yeah, which Wait. it's so hard. We've looked at a bunch of videos, see what pops are fake and what aren't, and like I don't know. It's ticky tacky unless they look really, really bad. Like if you've watched our videos, Steve with the flattened face with the baseball bat looked terrible, but these ones also could just have bad paint apps, mm -hmm. but I I don't know. It's the ninjetties of pops. <laughs> ninjetties. <laughs> bad too huh he's just got the white all over him well you better get your painting skills on no extra growth no extra growth i think he looks better but around both of their mouths uh -huh. it's like looks just really messy terrible but yeah he does have <laughs> some white on his arm i like how he's holding the knife the sorry the cleaver the cleaver yeah, so do I. He's, like, hiding it like he normally does, and then he'll probably cut his own arm off. <laughs> See, I think this one looks better than the Jerry one. I do, but too. But, yeah, right around the mouth mm -hmm. is pretty bad, but I do really like this one. This one's awesome. His ears, his ears. See, that's what's crazy. His like, ears The look ears look fantastic. Good. Yeah. <clears throat> his head barely moves. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and it feels like... It almost goes forward when you move it, so. So these might be fake. Everyone. These might be fake. Who knows? Again. But who cares? I don't care. Boom, look at that. I do like that oh, you Tom know what, though? is taller than Jerry, though. Well, he should be. I know, but sometimes. They look, like, from here. They look fine. They look fine. Now, when you zoom up. Ugh. I mean, they still don't look terrible. I would definitely pose Jerry like that because he looks better. Yeah. Oh, see, Tom is so much better. So you guys better agree with Collector B. If you want more videos, you, you better say Tom pops, is better. Then you agree with me. Mm -mm. Well, if you guys want more figures, it's Tom. <laughs> yes. Okay, and uh -huh. now for the one I've been waiting for. We've got Ladybug, <sighs> a.k.a. Brad Pitt, in the movie Bullet Train. If you haven't seen... S Jesus, seen? seen? You it. haven't seen? Seen it. Okay, if you haven't seen it... <laughs> Go watch it. It's not Fantastic. what you expect, and it's, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. It's really good. <clears throat> I was a huge fan, and I mean, yeah, who doesn't love Brad Pitt? Could look at him all day. Yeah, you can. There's Ladybug. There's the Wolf and Momomon. It's a Digimon. Yeah, we didn't know these were even out until I was on Marketplace and somebody was trying to sell. The wolf, aka Bad Bunny, for like sixty dollars, and I was like, "Are you guys kidding me?" So we hopped on Amazon, and guess who was there? And what you had a oh. chance to get this one or the chase? Yes. Yeah, so there is a chase. Um, Amazon may or may not send you a chase. You don't really get an option. But the chase, he has his hat off and he has blood on his face, which looks really cool. Still holding the suitcase. Yeah. Someone so, we know has it. Jason, if you want to send it to me, I'm waiting. So, just letting you know, I will take it. Because I have this one. I need the other one. So Yes. Yeah. You heard it here first, Jason. <laughs> Give it to Allie. <laughs> you could have been in Squid Games. He let, that's what honestly like when it showed up i was like is this did i buy the wrong thing literally looks like player seven from squid yeah. games oh my god he looks amazing i love it i love it like yes perfect it does suck that they made the wolf and momomon 
Um, ugh, they should have made tangerine and lemon. It's mm, lemon, yeah. right? Uh -huh. That would have been fantastic. But oh, Brad Pitt is so hilarious in uh -huh. this movie. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, so again, if you guys have not seen Bullet Train, go he, check it out. Yeah. He's got a little scuff on his ear, but that's okay. Where is, what would, did we watch it on? Was it... Prime? Prime? Maybe. It's still up. Yeah. For sure. Oh, he's... He's great. Like... He is great. Doesn't get any better. <clears throat> Definitely my favorite of the week is Ladybug. <laughs> like... So... Oh, I guess I can do it right here. Yep. We've got... Oh. Did I face it the right way? There you go. There we go. Ladybug. Tom with the cleaver. It's a little close, Tom. Jerry with the cheese. And Pluto. With nothing. Nothing. Just Pluto. So your favorite is Ladybug? Oh, for sure. No question. Honestly, the Tom and Jerry look fantastic together. That's how good. you have them right there. Yeah, Ladybug's cool. Yeah, super cool. Pluto's just kind of basic. Yeah, basic another basic B. So, yeah, folks, that's the pops this week. Let me know which one is your favorite. And again, it's Jerry, not Tom. Tom. It, Jerry. Tom. Jerry. Tom. So. Jerry, Larry, Gary. Mary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, again, thanks for watching. And as always, pop out. We are back. And I hope you guys loved those Funkos. I oh, really like them. Oh, they do look good together. I told you they look good together. And also, guys, it's Tom. All of it. Jerry. Screw Jerry. But, yes. Screw again, you. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen Bullet Train... Definitely go check it out. I love it. It's fantastic. So before you get into this, this was the Batman I was talking about to put the head on. So you just moved him from my collection. Yeah, I did. I took him out of the vehicle. The vehicle. I mean, yeah, I guess you can't see his skin, so it's fine. Oh, the skin color? Yeah, because yeah, he, he has gloves have, on yeah. and stuff. That would look really cool. But so this was the one I was talking maybe about. Maybe we'll have to try that. The trench coat Batman. Batman metal, okay? That's what I thought, but I didn't want to say it because I didn't remember. She just doesn't know. She thinks static shot is a girl. <laughs> okay, so let's get back into it. So, uh, yeah, so we got Typhlosion at Target. We got Batman at Walmart. We got all those pops. And then Everywhere. yesterday, finally, yesterday, we go to a Walmart, a Target, looking around. Still haven't found Dead Man, but my buddy is sending me one. So thank you, Ryan. Congratulations, Ryan. You're the man. Um, so super excited to get that. Pretty soon should have it next week. Uh, but, you know, I'm like, yeah, let's just go home. And I was like, you know what? Check the Walmart right by our house. Boom! Thank God we did. Boom! Eradicator. Shockwave. McFarland Toys. Gold Label. So um, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know much about this guy. I know he's in the comics. I know he's in a bunch of comics. Um, but I just... I, I don't really know. But I don't care. He looks cool. I think he looks fantastic. I think this looks really cool. This is one that I've been really wanting. Um, and again, I keep seeing people find him and the Vampire Batman together. This Walmart had three of this one. Nothing else. Again. So I don't get it. But again, Walmart. And look at that. That is sick. So already, the one thing I will say... I really wish he would have came with some fire hands like that or whatever that is. I think it's fire. I don't know. Um, I think that just would have been really, really, really cool. But His mouth's not open, is it? No, that mm -hmm. would have been cool too because he has like the, I think it's like heat breath or. He can oh, blow dry your hair. Called. He could blow dry your hair. But I just think he looks fantastic. And again, like she said, there is that sticker mm -hmm. there. So that's starting to happen. But I is just think Is it easy this... to take off? What, the sticker? Yeah, since you're opening oh, this like, one. like, what, his head? Because <laughs> that would annoy me. On this, it's on the side. I know, Oof. but still, is it going to rip the box? Not really. Ooh, so that So you're going to have to leave it, but I, who cares? Um, as long as it's not right down the middle. So, um, yeah, so I'm really excited for this. And, you know, if you guys watch my channel, you guys know I give McFarlane a ton of grief for 
no accessories, no head sculpts, all this stuff, you know. One thing I will say, he's staying with these boxes. He don't care about the environment, which, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong. We've ta I've, ta I've heard a lot of people talk about this. Those other boxes have just as much cardboard and stuff in them. Like, you're not really saving that much environment. Plus, they raise the price. Um, these are still $19.99, so I'm okay with that, you know. So, again, you know, I give McFarlane a ton of crap, but I do think he produces a pretty good quality product. Um, it's not for everybody because of his scale, but I love his scale. I'm fine with it because I put them all together anyways. So, boom, there's the card. Again, this is another fire card, though. Huh? Get it? Fire. <laughs> but, like, really, I, I love these cards that he does. I think they're really, really cool. It's just the ones where it's, like just the figure standing there it's just stupid but oh man see i think he looks i think he looks really really cool so he does come with alternate hands which is nice so he does have fist hands on i believe and then he comes with these open hands but man those fire hands or fire effects just would have been is that what those hands fantastic. are supposed to be i think they're ew fingerless or yeah they look kind of funny i'm curious as well um again you guys will have to let me know you know i i don't know a ton about this guy but for me he just looks really cool um it's funny because you know like we were talking about static shock i love static shock i used to watch the cartoon back in the day like in the 90s and i thought it was fantastic it was one of my favorites that mcfarland looks terrible but this i don't really know who he is but I think it looks fantastic. So you guys have to let me know if you guys know more about this guy and you think it's, you know, missing something or whatever. Um, I have looked him up and I see that there is a couple different versions. One where he has the black around, some that he doesn't, but the visor is always there. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why these hands are supposed to be like this. Maybe they had the flames and they his gloves got burnt up and that's what they went for he was eating um, cheetos yeah yeah right like what the i, heck? The I don't know so awful too. yeah i don't know like... i don't know what kind of effect they were trying to do here that's the only thing i can think of is that he got these flame hands Ew. and it burned his gloves off but just the fingers <sighs> yeah i I don't know. So you guys will have to let me know. Um, I'm not really digging these hands. They kind of look like a mix between Clayface and Deathstroke. So um, the one good thing about these, I guess, if you really just wanted to paint them black, you're fine. You yeah. know? Um, and they are kind of open claw hands, but I don't know why he really needs these ones. I would have much rather had some effects, I think, with this and then just the fist hands, but it's okay. Oof. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm. I love this face sculpt too. I know a lot of people. I don't think we're a huge fan of this being like all black and stuff. But one, I love the cape. <laughs> he looks cool. He looks really cool. He has a huge noggin though, so I don't think his head would fit in helmets either. You know, boom, and his cape helps him stand, so I'm okay with that. So, um. I like it. I really like the visor look. I think it's really cool. It would have been nice, though. Again, just little things. That visor would flip up, you know? Or you gave me an alternate head without the visor. Um, Again, I don't know why it's black everywhere, but I love it. That is one of my favorite things. I, I've said this in one of my previous videos when we got the Justice League Superman. I love the black suit Supermans. I think it's really cool. So with this being a mix, I think it looks really cool. Um, The suit looks good. There's nothing like crazy to it, but I think it does really, really look good. The face sculpt looks awesome to me. The cape, again, I wish it wasn't as thick, but I do like that he's not just giving you a straight cape. You know, this off to the side is really fantastic. I really, really like it. I love this lip up here and then all down. And like I said, it kind of helps him stand, so that's not bad. I'm really happy he did come with fist hands because I think this guy looks like he needs fist hands he looks intimidating he looks scary he want those fist hands and he's standing really good and it's because of that cape in all honesty so i am digging it i think it's fantastic i don't really like those other hands i probably will not do anything with those other hands they just kind of throw it off for me um 
but he looks he looks great so again articulation is going to be the same um let's see if he can do the splits he can do the splits just not as high as vampire batman um no thigh swivel but oof, yeah double knee joint there he's just a little tight i can see you are going to get some paint rubbing there because they kind of made this almost cell shaded kind of is kind of what it looks like um but it's that matte finish so you know that's okay uh toe joint fantastic as far as arms you are good you do have the bicep swivel this arm looks a little different to me um but maybe it's just how it's painted uh you know joint there wrists are good this arm i think you'll have a little yeah you're gonna have a little bit of mess there because it's not i thought it was like glued down right there it's not but just how the way this cape folds you know this is going to be in the way a little bit um but still good movement his head that's as far up that's as far down so it doesn't have as much as that vampire batman um ab crunch again not much i really wish instead of the alternative hands you should have just given me a stand because again you want him flying in the air i hate that they don't give you stands fly stand or flight stands with these characters like martian manhunter and him um but i like this i think this is really really cool i'm digging it it's nothing crazy but i i love the look honestly i really really do now if i can just get him to kind of stand in a i want to get him standing like he's walking but i don't think that's gonna happen let's see if we can maybe we have to switch legs here this back nope okay we're gonna have to mess around with him later of course now i'm not gonna be able to get him to stand even though i had him standing perfect but then right when i do articulation oh goodness gracious come on cape i was just raving about you and now you aren't holding him up Okay, he's gonna fall, but that's okay. Um, I like it. I actually <clears throat> the Batman looks way bigger than him. Yeah. I think it's because he's leaning back. Let me redo him. You think Batman is bigger? It looks bigger. Why? I'm sorry guys i'm having major issues with this eradicator now oh oh Oops. well yeah i can't stand it now there we go um well batman is leaning as well pretty hard i think it's just because he's in a different pose he does kind of look like he's bigger i think they're pretty close to saying he does look bigger huh he is definitely taller but I'm digging it. I think these two are pretty good. Um, again, these hands, I'm, I don't really know what I'm going to do with, but I would have loved a flight stand with him. I think they could have done a little better with both of them, but I'm pretty happy with them. I mean, for new McFarlane, I'm pretty stoked about it. So not really much complaints. I'm lo loving the cape. Really am. Both capes are pretty nice, even for how thick they are. So, so again, Walmart, Walmart. So, uh, haven't seen them anywhere else. Haven't even seen either one up for pre-order. I saw somebody post him for pre-order today on Amazon, but it was like from a different seller. So it was like $30. So um, I'm sure they will go up and just don't go buy scalpers. These are going to be flooding Walmarts. I guarantee you. So, okay. Last thing we have, and I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. So when I did go to this random target and found Typhlosion, we also found Dragapult. Boom! I am so excited. So Dragapult is one of my favorite dragon Pokemon when they came out with him. I believe it was X and Y. No, it wasn't X and Y. It was maybe Sword and Shield. It was, it was one of those. I don't remember what gen he came out with it with. It was pretty recent. He's fantastic. He is really awesome. He's a ghost dragon. He's super fast. He's just, he's so unique. He's, he's, well, he's not unique, but he's great. So 
finding him was fantastic. And again, like I said, there is that, was it trainer? Trainer team. Trainer team series. series. And again, only at Target. So really weird because these selects do pop up at GameStop and Walmart, which is weird. So I'm guessing these ones are only going to be at Target. Maybe, I, I don't know. I have no idea. But <clears throat> this guy looks cool. I'm loving how big his tail looks. I'm hoping there's some articulation there, so we will see. But super stoked. I think he, uh, like the wife said, one of these, either him or Typhlosion, were 21. The other one was 19. So I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe because Dragon Bolt's really cool. Um, but still, again, $21 for these. I do like them. Um, I think they're really great. So again, there's the stand and this guy, see, this is where this stand is great. Um, we'll have to see where the hole is on Dragon Pole because that is going to matter to me. But, uh, this stand is going to be great for Dragon Pole, I think, because he, he is a ghost dragon. You do kind of want him floating in the air on like Typhlosion where he's just going to stand there. So, okay, okay. I'm going to knock over that Superman or Eradicator. Having troubles? Yeah, those boxes kind of irritate me, but... Okay, he's got zip ties, zip ties. Oh. Oh, crap. Didn't see two other zip ties. And his head is huge. Which it definitely looks big in the game and the show, but okay. Oh my god. He's so cool. Okay, I think where the stand's gonna be, I'm just gonna put him on the stand. I think where the Show the hole people. Is... What? Where the I will. Okay. See, boom! So there is Dragapult. Um, like I said, look how big his head is. Fantastic! I'm really loving it. Uh, this guy's not gonna have nearly as much articulation as I thought he's gonna have, but that's okay. The tail is really cool. I think it's really, really basic, but like that see-through, clear right there, translucent is really cool because he is a ghost. Uh, really digging that. I love the little dreepies up here that he shoots out. It's one of his main moves is dragon darts. I think it's Did dragon they come darts. Out? I don't know. We'll find out. I don't think they do. I thought he came with some shooters, but it was the reflection on the box. Um, and as you can see, the stand goes into, well, when we turn it, you'll see. I think it looks really good. Don't snap the arms off, man. Yeah, or those legs. So, I mean, it's nothing crazy, but this is what Dragon Bolt looks like. It looks really awesome. As you can see, the stand goes into that side which is fine with me i almost would have rathered it maybe down here towards his butt but obviously you have the tail so that's that's cool at least it's not all the way up here um yeah i think he looks really really cool this i hate the print i know i hate stuff. that pokemon does that with like almost everything it really sucks especially on the tail like come on man but i would have rathered them honestly do that right there than on the tail yeah but you know whatever so digging this i like the stand so as far as articulation okay so his head head does pop up that's as far as it's gonna go you can his neck does move so you can get it farther down like this which isn't bad um there's the neck joint there so again it gonna go all the way up this one comes up his arms, again, super skinny. You can see the joints. I really don't have to tell you guys that. It's really easy. I do like that they did that. He's, hey, fancy, fancy, huh? So those are cool. I'm glad they have some motion. Legs can spin. Like they have that joint there. And they can go kind of flat. Ooh, that's going to snap. These are <clears throat> pretty thin, though. So really... That's mostly your bend there. Um, I'm okay with that. I mean, he floats all the time. It's not like he walks. So I'm okay with his legs really not doing much. Um, the tail, no joints in the tail. Kind of a bummer. You can bend it though. So I can bend it 
even back that way if I really wanted to. I, again, I really like that this end of his tail is see-through. Really cool. Um, he does... Well, so that's really his ab crunch there. His head does not move side to side, though. Um, yeah, does not want to move side to side. Kind of a bummer, because it would be cool to kind of have him looking sideways. These dreepies do not come out, which is kind of a bummer because of dragon darts. But um, that's okay. That's pretty much it, though. I mean, there's not much movement in these. I feel like they did do a lot more movement on some of the previous ones and these ones. But, you know, Dragapult... How is... much movement should you have? Well, that's what I'm though. saying. He's pretty straightforward. I mean, this is how you see him in the game the whole time. You know what I mean? He doesn't do really much with his hands and his legs. It's mostly this. And I just love how big his head is. I love how he looks, too. I think he just looks really fantastic. Good yeah. And also, as much... I do wish there was more articulation in the tail. That is one thing. But I do like that you can bend it whichever way you want. So, I... I love it. I'm happy with these. I do wish, again, a little more movement would have been great. But you know what? That's okay. I'm excited about all these. And yeah, he's staying next to Typhlosion because, well, let's see. Let's try to... This Batman does not want to stand for me. Like I always say, these dang ankle joints. Let's see if we can get it. Meh. Eh. We're going to spend a half an hour on video just trying <laughs> to get Batman to stand. Stand, bro. There we go. Son of a gun. I just wanted to do this, so there's size comparison. <laughs> but I guess I can't even do that. Stupid McFarlands don't want to stand. There we go. So, there you got it. We've got the Eradicator McFarland Gold Label, the Vampire Batman Gold Label. Uh, Typhlosion, Pokemon Select, and Dragapult, Pokemon Select. And then we've got Ladybug, Jerry, Tom, and Pluto Funko Pops. So, what's your favorite? Really cool. Probably Dragapult. Really? Honestly. Like, I'm really digging both of these. Mm -hmm. And honestly, he's, I love his cape. I think it's fantastic. I love how he looks. I just, I was so excited to find this Dragapult. Dragapult, again, is like in my top 10 favorite Pokemon. I think he looks fantastic. I love how big he is. I love the tail. Would have been nice to be able to shoot those out of his head, but that's okay. And the Typhlosion, you know, it's cool. It is really cool. I like Typhlosion. Um, it's not anything special. These are really cool as well, but probably the Dragapult, honestly. Yeah, kind of weird, but it is. So, so yeah, that's all we got today. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Link is in the description below. Let us know again who's better, Tom or Jerry. Let us know what's your favorite here. Let me know Jerry. about these Pokemon. I'm curious what you guys think. And let me know about these McFarlands. We finally got some more gold label McFarlands, but I'm kind of sick of the gold label, you know? I mean, it looks, it's a cool little thing on the box, but they all don't need to be gold label because they're all not special. So, um, yeah. Well, maybe they are. We are all special. But yes. So, um, also, how cool is this shirt I got? Stand up Woo! so the people can see That's it all. It. That's oh, all they you're... need to see. How cool. Got it from GameStop. So, 20% really cool. off. Can you name this person? Charizard. Ivy's. Uh, I don't know. Blastoise. Venusaur. There you that's go. That's My that goodness. Name. She's terrible at it. So, but yeah, so that's it. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Um, again, if you guys want to chat, shoot me stuff on Instagram. Show me your finds. I will love talking to you guys. Love seeing stuff. Um, and hopefully we get some more McFarlane next week. Maybe some other stuff. I I don't really know. I don't really have much on my list I'm looking for right now. It's just kind of random stuff we keep finding. Um, but we may get that Samurott. I, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. So, you got anything? No. No. I don't think I will. Unless right? someone wants to send me the ladybug chase. <coughs> Jason. <laughs> I'm, you know, open. Don't send her nothing. She has too much <laughs> stuff. But anyways, thank you guys for coming by. Uh, all your support means a ton to us. So, And we will be back next Sunday as well. So, as always, collectors, never stop collecting. Ooh.